What's up, you guys? I'm back today with another video. Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare. Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs. So, you guys, I'm about to show y'all a bomb. I would say it's a holiday recipe. This is like a good like Christmas morning breakfast kind of thing. I'm about to show you guys how to make my egg nog French toast. Yeah, this recipe is super simple, but it's so good. It's over the top and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so here's what we're gonna be needing to make our bomb eggnog French toast, you guys. It's so good, okay? So right here, I have what's left over from my French loaf. I got this from Walmart. I actually got this, like, no lie, uh, four days ago. It's still soft, but it's not super fresh. You don't want your bread to be super fresh because you want you want it to be kind of dried out and stale in order to like suck up the suck up the custard. Okay? So you don't want super fresh bread, you can, but you're not going to get the same effect as if your bread was a little stale and you know cuz it'll suck the custard up more, okay? So, if your bread is super fresh, what you can do is you can cut it and then you can put it in the oven for a little bit. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll turn the oven to like 300 degrees and then I'll turn it off and then sit the bread in there for like 10 minutes and just like let it naturally dry out and then, you know, let it suck up the custard. But this bread, I've had for a little bit, okay? It's not spoiled or nothing like that, but it's not, I mean, it's still soft. Anyway, let's move on. So we have some eggs here. We have some eggnog. Y'all, Ronnie done got into the eggnog. But we have some left. We have enough left for our recipe, okay? I have some half and half, some butter. Right here, I have some vanilla bean paste. Um, of course, if you don't have vanilla bean paste, you can use regular vanilla extract. This stuff is super expensive. I get it from like the specialty, um, farmer's market thing here in Florida. Do you see all these like little bits of uh, vanilla bean in it? This stuff is super strong. So however much of this vanilla bean paste I use, if you're gonna, if you're using vanilla extract, you'd use double because this is like double the strength of vanilla um, extract. Okay, so I have some ground cinnamon, some ground nutmeg right there. Even though of course eggnog is spiced already, we just gonna turn it up some more, all right? And then to garnish our French toast, I have some raspberries and somebody done got into the blueberries. Okay, but that's fine, y'all. I got some raspberries and some blueberries. Um, I'm going to drizzle the top of the uh, French toast with some of this cinnamon whiskey maple syrup. This is real make maple syrup. Um, from Vermont is really really good stuff. You can buy this online. Of course, if you have Mrs. Butterworth or Aunt Jemima use that, you don't, you know what I mean? I'm just pretty much giving you the layout and then you can do your own variation, okay? So I have some really good maple syrup that I'm gonna drizzle lightly on top. Not too much because it's gonna be sweet already, all right? So that's all you need, okay? Let's go ahead and put this together. Okay, you guys, so let's get started on this custard. First off, we're going to be using three large eggs. One. That's two. And that's three. You guys, what kind of egg cracker are you? When you crack your eggs, do you throw them straight into the garbage or do you put them back in the, in the carton? Let me know. What do you do? Because y'all already just seen what I be doing. I don't know why. It's like a habit. I know some people that probably hate when I do that. But it's a habit. So that was our three eggs. Next, we're going to put in a cup and a half of our eggnog. You guys, what's your favorite eggnog? I like this one and I like the Southern Comfort one. They're so good. Okay. Oh, look at that. Y'all see that color? This is the good stuff. 
Somebody already got in my eggnog. I bet I know who it was too. So that's one. And that's one half. Oh my gosh, you guys. Eggnog smells so freaking good, huh? Mm. Who knows how to make their own eggnog? I don't make my own eggnog. I'd rather cremas or co um, coquito. But eggnog is good to um, cook with. All right. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of half and half just to like thin it out a little bit. See? a quarter cup look what's left in the container somebody gonna get that y'all see that that is not gonna last the rest of the day okay next I'm going to add in a teaspoon of this vanilla bean paste if you're using vanilla extract that would be a tablespoon that right there is a teaspoon y'all this stuff is strong if you get your hands on it get it it's a good buy it's, it's good quality okay that stuff is strong all right so that was a teaspoon of the vanilla bean paste if you're using vanilla extract use a tablespoon and please use real vanilla extract don't use imitation use if you're gonna splurge on anything use good spices if your spices and your add-ins are good, then it just elevates practically every meal you use them in. So try, like, don't use cooking wine. Use a real good wine that you would drink. Don't use an imitation vanilla extract. Use a good, a pure vanilla extract. You know what I mean? Just, if you're going to splurge anywhere, like, you can use generic whatever, like, uh, like potatoes or noodles or whatever, but... Try to splurge a little bit on your uh, ingredients, okay? On your spices and and that kind of stuff, all right? Next, I'm gonna put in an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay. A dash of nutmeg, not too much because nutmeg is super strong, just that much. Then we're gonna go ahead and whisk this up. This is gonna be our custard that we're gonna dip our bread into of course right oh my gosh this smells so good wow all right so here is our custard see that nice and thick and it smells so good oh my gosh it's so fragrant i make a bomb eggnog um bread pudding too one day I gotta show you guys. Okay guys, so we have our bread here. I'm using a serrated knife, of course, my Lux homewares knives. So, I'm making nice chunky pieces. I'd say like about an inch thick. Oh yeah, this bread is ready. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I'm just cutting these in one inch rounds all right one more piece okay and there is our bread move this to the side and give this another stir so i like for my french toast to be nice and eggnoggy. Is that a word? Eggnoggy? Hold on, y'all. So, I like to take a baking dish and then lay the bread out and then pour the custard over it and let it soak in more that way. Opposed to when you make regular French toast, you just like um, dip it real fast. Like for my, these kind of French toast to be like nice and moist inside they yeah they come out so good mix again just gonna drizzle this on top 
Oh my god, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Plop that and you know it's gonna soak up some of the custard from the bottom. Let's cover that. Oh my gosh. The flavor this is gonna have. So I just like flip it. Make sure every piece is like coated in this custard. Move some of the ones from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom. You just want it to all be nice and juicy, okay? Y'all see that? You, want, you just want, y'all, this is gonna be the best French toast you've ever had, okay? Just make sure your hands is clean when you do this, all right? Just get that, let that soak in, feel me? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is that good stuff. Y'all understand how good this is gonna be. Get all that eggnog custard up in there. Every piece, look at that. Every piece, every piece, nice and trippy. Oh, you see how, look at that. See that, you wanna like, see that, you wanna like soak. Don't mind my nails, y'all, I'm making this for me. I'm gonna have leftovers for days. But this is the kind of recipe that's good. If you make a big batch, a small batch, that was just enough custard for how much bread I had. Look at that. All right, so this was good. Let's go ahead and melt some butter. Let's get this thing cooking so we can eat, y'all. Okay, so we got our pan heating up. I'm just gonna go ahead and melt some butter. What's up, folks? Now when I do this, I like for the butter to turn a little brown. When your butter turns a little brown, it gets like a nutty taste. You know, not burnt or nothing, just like a little browned, okay? It tastes so good like that. Oh my gosh, this freaking batter for the French toast smells so good over here. Who wouldn't want this for Christmas morning? Okay. Make a little eggnog French toast, some sausages, open your gifts. Oh, you could go back and make my, um, what did I make? Uh, a biscuit and gravy casserole. You remember when I made that millionaire's casserole? That's bomb for Christmas morning. We do that too sometimes. So, 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 so good. Okay, so. Okay, so our butter is ready. We're gonna go ahead and, oh my gosh. I'm gonna take one of these French toasts from the bottom. Oh, y'all see that? Look. I'm gonna take one of these French toasts here. Go ahead and just lay it in the pan. Oh, y'all hear that sizzle? That's how you know it's gonna be good. This is gonna be so bomb. Right, so we're gonna cook this until it's browned on one side, okay? Gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit. I'll be right back when it's time to turn. Okay, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and flip these. Ooh, look at that beautiful cup. Y'all, y'all see that? Look at that. Oh, they nice and bouncy and springy. These are gonna be so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Yeah, look at this. You guys see how these are looking? Oh my gosh. Alright y'all, so you guys see how I do it. I'm gonna cook the rest of these. It's like four more. See that? I'm gonna finish these up. I'll be back. Papa, of course you're my a taste tester. I made an eggnog French toast. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
Look at Smokey jumping in the window back there. I'm gonna need another taste. Another taste? I just can't get the taste right. What? Is that good or bad? What are you trying to play? Hmm. I play with food. It's soaked in eggnog. Mm hmm. That's really good. Thank you. Good. So you guys, that was my eggnog French toast. It came out so good. Y'all, you guys have to try it when you do. Be sure to tag me on Snapchat, Instagram, email me. Do whatever you need to do so I see a version of my recipe. I really love when you guys recreate my recipes. Like, I love it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to do you, boo. Bye, guys. Whoa, don't slip up or get cut. Why not, man? I'm coming for that number one.